Today we're going to show you how to integrate the Photo Editor SDK into your Android app. We're going to need Android Studio and the Photo Editor SDK's documentation to do so. You can find the documentation at docs.photoeditorsdk.com. First, we're going to launch a new Android Studio project. Here we can choose a name for our application. Then we're going to insert our company domain and our package name. Inserting a package name is very important, as you need a license that is issued for your specific package name to run the Photo Editor SDK. We're also going to include Kotlin support, as every modern Android app should do that. We then choose Phone and Tablet and API 16, because this is the oldest API that the SDK currently supports. Please note that this is eventually going to change. We then choose Empty Activity. Here you can set a name. For this tutorial, however, we're going to leave it as it is. Now, a new Android Studio project is created. For the sake of clarity, we're going to use the project view. First, we have to include the license. To do so, we open the Photo Editor App folder and navigate through the subfolders App source and main. In this subfolder we create yet another folder called Assets. We then simply paste our license into it. We head over to the documentation, find the section for Android and make sure that the latest version is selected. As of the time of this recording that is version 6 or v6. Then we navigate to the Getting Started section. Here you can also look up how to include the license. We head over to the project's build gradle file and paste this line which is the path to our SDK repository under build script and repositories. We then copy this line and paste it under dependencies and thus we have linked the SDK. Next, we're going to apply the PESDK plugin. So, we find the apps build gradle folder and paste this line under the other plugins. Now we're going to insert the photo editor SDK's configuration that contains all tools. We copy this block and paste it under the PE SDK plugin. It is important that the license naming here matches the name of the license file we previously imported. Then we copy the build tools version and paste it in the Android category. And for the app to compile in the correct Java version, we copy this code block and paste it at the end of the Android category. We hit Sync now to save our settings. That often takes a while, so we sped it up for you. We want to build a simple application that just consists of a single button that starts the photo editor. So first, we create a button. To do so, we navigate to the App folder and open the subfolders Source, Res and Layout to find the Activity Main, or whichever way you decided to name it. We click on Text to edit the file and add a button. For Height and Width, we enter Wrap Content. Now we set an ID for the button and call it SDK Button. We then set a display text for the button. For this tutorial, we'll use the string app name, but you, of course, can choose whichever string you like. We return to the app folder and find the main activity in the subfolders Source and Java. We head over to the documentation, where we are presented with two options. We can either start the editor in camera mode or in the device's gallery. We'll go with the camera mode. As we're writing our main activity in Kotlin, we choose the Kotlin code example and paste it in the main activity. We can overwrite the onCreate as it is also included in the code example. Right now, we are presented with quite some error warnings, but that is no problem at all because we still need to implement the interface as you can see here. Permission request, response. Here we must choose the dedicated Lee Image Android PESDK UI Utils and add dot response at the end. After that, we're down to only two errors because we still need to integrate the correct directory. Again, we choose the dedicated Lee Image Android PESDK backend model constant, and thus all errors are resolved. 
if we were to start the app now, it would automatically run the editor in camera mode. But we don't want the editor to start automatically, hence the button we previously added. So, in order to change that, we scroll to the onCreate method and as you can see here, the app would instantly open the camera. We create a new variable that we're going to call SDK button and set it equal with find view by ID. We then set the ID to SDK underscore button, set an onclick listener and paste open camera beneath it. And we have a working little app that contains the photo editor SDK.